Shalom to the nation of Israel. Before we get started, all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukahakwadash. Double honors to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there scattered abroad, unlike unto a speckled bird. Tabernacle of King David, 144,000 mighty men. Peace, blessings, salutations to the remnant, men, women, children, shalom on, right? So this your brother Shapai, man. So, you know, had a couple of individuals, you know, try to keep it nice. Individuals on the, on the comment board, one dude arguing. I, I went back with him and back and forth with him a couple of times. He was on Elder Apostle Gabal comment board. Calling us, calling him, me, effeminate, we gay, we this, we that. Sound like an emotional little girl, you know what I mean? Don't having a little temper tantrum. Give me some attention. Then I had the New Covenant Demons, the with, um three or four of them on, on both my channels. They crying and whining and trying to convince. Man, just teach, man. Just teach, man. Just teach. Go teach. You don't agree with what the elders, the apostles, the men at GMS saying, man. Go teach. Just go teach your shit, man. You on the comment board thinking that that little knucklehead talk about Jacob, Yaku, is is Satan, is is um is Zeus. Shut. Go teach, man. Go teach your shit, man. Y'all y'all dudes, man. Y'all just man. Y'all, y'all, y'all need to, y'all need to be men, man. Teach, man. Teach, teach. Just teach, man. Numbers eleven and twenty nine. Teach, man. To you, emotional, emotional, sensitive men out there. Teach, man. Where we want to start at? Numbers eleven and. Numbers 11 and 26. But there remained two other men in the camp. The name of one was Eladad, and the name of the other was Medad. And the spirit rested upon them, and they were of them that written, and they were of them that were written, but went not out unto the tabernacle, and they prophesied in the camp. And there a man, and there ran a young man, and told Moses, and said, Eladad and Medad do prophesy in the camp. And Joshua, son of Nun, the servant of Moses, one of his young men, answered and said, My Lord Moses, forbid them. And Moses said unto them, Envious thou for my sake? Would power that all the Lord's people were prophets, and that the Lord would put his spirit upon them. Yeah, to do what? To, to, to teach. And Moses said unto him, Envious thou for my sake, would power that all the Lord's people were prophets, and that the Lord would put his spirit upon them. Yeah. So we supposed to be out there teaching, man. That's what the Lord wants, man. In the kingdom, we going, you new covenant niggas in the kingdom and shit, we going to be, uh, 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 um, now, therefore, if we were, if we will obey my, if, if, if ye, Salakia, Exodus 19 and 5, now, therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people for all the earth is mine. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. That's what the Lord want us out here doing, man. So you in the new covenant, and you ain't talking about Esau. You go on these heads page. You ain't talking about Esau. You not talking about the MOTB. You not talking about the collapse of the dollar. You not talking about World War Three. You not talking. You not warning your people. Your whole focus is to make 
attack pieces or you go on one head page you see elder yashawan but you see <laughs> you see apostle gabar you see um uh, the elder out of um south carolina manata zagba you see them going after this brother you see them see gabar domine like that's all you niggas is doing man you niggas is not teaching man you not teaching you out there just in your little emotional little feelings, whining and crying. That's what you guys is out there doing. Let's get this one. Where is it at? Philippians. Let's get that one. That's all you dudes is out there doing. You out there crying, whining, on the comment boards, throwing... It's like, look at me, look at me, I said this about you, look at me, let's exchange, let's exchange, um, scriptures, let's exchange scriptures, oh, damn mess, man, Philippians 1 and 15, some indeed preach Amashia even for envy and for strife, and some also of goodwill, the one preach Amashia of contention, not sincerely, <laughs> supposing to add affliction to my bonds, but the other of love, knowing that I am set for the defense of the gospel. Yeah, some out here just preaching just to be niggas, man. Just to just to be niggas, man. Demons, man. Demons. Demons is on you, man. Demons out here just preaching, preaching just for contention. I'm preaching just to come against Great Millstone. Because I want to show them. I want to prove. I want I want them to, to listen to me all of a sudden. You learned you were Israelite two years ago. And you want to teach the elders and the apostles that, that you done learned the names. Of, the, the dude calling on the names of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. And you learned them names from the men at GMS. They the one, the GMS is the only ones that use the names, that stand firm on the names. Everybody else is really, you know, sometimes using the names. And you on the on, on the common board talking shit about the man you learned this, this from. One of the men you learned this from. Don't make no sense, man. James chapter 3 verse 13. Who is a wise man? And endure it with knowledge among you. Let him show out of a good conversation. What? Let him show out of a good conversation his works with meekness and wisdom. Now, I'm going to be on the common board in pride and arrogance and insults. <laughs> and I ain't going to show the niggas faces because it don't matter no more. It don't matter, man. I block them all and all this, man. You know, it's just like, like. How are you going to say you in the new covenant? You in the new covenant, but you're not saved yet. The scriptures say clearly, he that endureth to the end, the, sh the same shall be saved. So you haven't been saved yet. You can't possibly say you're saved yet. So you out here now claiming and standing firm in the fact that we in the new covenant, but then you might not even make it at the end. So how are you in the new covenant? You might not even get saved. You don't know if you of the elect. So how can you be in the second covenant, the new covenant, if you don't even know if you're saved yet? All that other stuff you talking about, oh, the, the law it, the laws is spiritually in my inward part. Well, if that's the case, then you don't need to open up the book and read from the from the Bible. Because the, all of the, 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 the scriptures is in your heart. You should be able to recite every biblical verse per beta. If, if, if you were in the second covenant, you should be able to recite every verse per beta. Not some, all of them. Because the laws are in your inward part. So you're not in a second. You just don't make no sense, man. You don't make no sense. And there's nothing you could say to me to convince me of these things. I don't care how many scriptures you try to post and this and this and that. It's nothing you could say to me to make me go, oh, yeah, I see what you mean. We are in the second covenant. No, we're not. We're not. 
James chapter 3, <laughs> verse 13. Who is a wise man and endured with knowledge among you? Let him show out of a good conversation his works with meekness of wisdom. But if ye have bitter envy and strife in your hearts, glory not and lie not against the truth. And not lie uh, not and lie not against the truth. This wisdom descendeth not from above, but is earthly, sensual, devilish. For where envy and strife is, there is confusion and e e every evil work. So if you sh if you coming on the um the, the elder the apostle Gabar's common board and you throwing insults and all of this stuff at him, he we effeminate, we gay, we this, we that. That's not that's not teaching the word. That's not teaching the word properly. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure then peaceable, no, uh, is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy, and without hypocrisy. No, I'm teaching, trying to, you know, trying to teach and trying to get, even if you're trying to get the elders to see your way hypothetically you try and get there so you gonna try to get the elders to see your way by insulting them by calling them all types of names out of your out of your out of your pie hole <laughs> yeah just flapping your gums man just flapping your gums man first peter two and one wherefore laying aside all malice and all guile and all and hypocrisies and envies and envies. Now we're the house of David. Y'all the house of King. Y'all the house of Saul. And y'all waxing worse. And we gonna rise up. And y'all gonna disappear. And all y'all that send GMS and all of that stuff, you're gonna be destroyed too. You're going to be destroyed too because you got to follow me because I say we in the new covenant. And I, we over here, King David is over here with us. And all evil speakings, <laughs> as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word. Nah, the, the, the treacherous, deceitful, the sincere milk <laughs> of the word that ye may grow thereby. Yeah. A mess, man. You guys a mess out there, man. The poor y'all losing focus on what you should be focused on, man. What's that one? Um, First Corinthians. Let's get back to it. Y'all done lost focus, man. Y'all lost focus, man. How you say y'all missing the mark, man. First Corinthians 14 and... Verse 14 and 4. He that speaketh in an unknown tongue edifieth himself, but he that prophesieth edifieth the church. Who are you, 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 you over here with all of these insults? You're not um, edifying the church. You're not edifying the church with that. Teach, man. I would that ye all spake with tongues, but rather that ye prophesy, for greater is he that prophesieth. Then he that speaketh with tongues, except he interpret, that the church may receive edifying. Yeah, man. Now, brethren, if I come unto you speaking with tongues, what shall I profit you, except I shall speak to you either by revelation, or by knowledge, or by prophesying, or by doctrine? Yeah, man. And so even if you go, okay, you saying GMS got everything wrong, but the um, but we in the new covenant. But besides that, they got everything right. Well, go teach then. Go teach. Go teach. Go teach what you believe, man. Go teach. It's a simple thing. Go teach, man. Go teach. Go teach, man. Go teach, man. And you you bug outs that don't know nothing. Y'all need to sit back, be quiet. Take some notes, learn, and then go teach. 
Matthew 9 and 37. Go teach, man. That's what y'all do, man. Matthew 9 and, 20 and 37. Then said he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Because they out here whining, man. They out here whining. The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of harvest that ye will send forth send forth laborers unto the harvest. Yeah, to do the work, man. To do the work. I talked to the um the beloved brother Labana. I was talking to that brother late last night. We was, you know, kicking it, you know, going back and forth, scriptures, stuff like that, talking about different things. And so he was telling me that he knew the brother from Mississippi. And he said it's funny. He said it's sad to see, you know, brother, because he used to be one of the brothers that talk about men that's doing the same thing he's doing now. He said he used to be a, a man a, a, a man when he was in GMS would be talking about brothers that's doing the same thing he doing. He said that's scary, man, to see him doing the same shit he would be out there talking about other people doing. Nah, that's a shame, man. Teach, man. Just go teach, man. John chapter 21 and 14. Now, is this is now the third time that Yahweh showed himself to his disciples after that he was risen from the dead. So when he had died, Yahweh saith to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? More than these, he saith unto him, Yeah, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto me, Feed my lambs. He saith to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He saith unto me, unto him, Yeah, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said, Feed my sheep. He saith unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter's, Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh Shai saith unto him, Feed my sheep. Yeah, man. This we supposed to be out here doing, man. We don't supposed to be out here finding the men that's doing the work. Okay, you don't agree with their doctrine or whatever. Every lesson just about y'all do is attacking them. <laughs> That's every lesson that you, you got is about them. It's about proving some shit that, okay, we in the new covenant. We in the new covenant. Now what? Do we stop um, teaching? Do we stop teaching? <laughs> we stop doing that. We in the new covenant. All of y'all just stop doing lessons now and everything. We in the new covenant. Okay, we're in a new covenant, and now what? Don't nothing change. Our condition ain't changed, bro. Micah 7 and... Micah 7 and 14, straight to the point. Feed thy people with thy rod, the flock of thine heritage, which dwell solid, solidarity, solidarity, in the wood, in the midst of Carmel, let them feed in Bashar and Giai as in the days of old. Yeah, this is what we supposed to be doing. Feed in thy people, man. We supposed to be feed in thy people, man. That's what we supposed to be doing. That's supposed to be our main focus is feed in, feed in thy, thy people, man. Feed in the flock, man. Feed in the flock. This is not battle rap, man. Ezekiel. Chapter 34 and 2. And oh, let's start one. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. Prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord power unto the shepherds. Woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. Should not the shepherds feed the flocks? Should not the shepherds feed the flock? That's what we supposed to be doing, man. Feed the flock, man. Feed the flock. 20, go down to 23. And I will set up one shepherd over them, and he shall feed them. Even my servant David, 
he shall feed them, and he shall be their shepherd. That's what supposed to be our focus, man. Feeding the flock, man. Feeding the sheep, man. And you definitely can't say that GMS is not doing that, man. You cannot say that, man. You cannot say that, man. Luke chapter 10, verse 2. Therefore said he unto them, The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of harvest that he would send forth laborers unto the harvest. So you pretty much wanting the laborers to go away. Nah, y'all be we want the DMS gonna disappear. You, 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 y'all going against the scriptures, man. Y'all in the wrong spirit, man. Y'all in the wrong spirit, man. Just teach, man. Just teach, man. Teach the word, man. So with that one, man, we're going to close out all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rukhahakwadash, double honors to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone, at Ruel, that taught me this truth, to the hopeful elect out there scattered abroad, unlike unto a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David. 144,000 mighty men, peace, blessings, salutations, keep pushing the word, man, focus on prophecies, keep pushing this word, to the remnant, men, women, children, remain spiritual out there, Kwam Yashirah, and a Baba Baal, Baraka Thumb family, Shalom.